welcome back to Trinibu, where actually one issue was resolved and would only mean that there are probably more to arise. Well, I'm not sure in which form it would be. It was nice of the magical girl to inform Rika that she wasn't there to steal Yuta away from her. In fact, that uh, even if there was once that kind of longing, it has long since dissipated. Hopefully the lesson of don't leave things too long for you, for you to take action upon it. There is definitely one way to find out though, so... Let's get into it. Yeah, you've come back. I don't believe anyone has been messing around in your club room. Welcome back. Nothing much happened. What is it with her naming schemes? She's not wearing her hair up. Oh dear. <laughs> She's trying to follow in the Maury Summers fo footsteps, isn't she? I think she went a bit overboard while the others were on their class trip. Hopefully it wasn't because Nibitani informed her about that website, and so she got back into it. I've watched f many a thing which uh, doesn't really put emphasis on a lot into s its visuals, and it's just funny to see when Chinibu decides to. And it's usually in these imaginary fight scenes, which actually makes kind of sense, because the real world, it's not that fantastical, is it? And you've usually got to set up your subjects and lighting for quite a while before the pictures actually turn out nicely. So of course in the world of imagination and when you re fracture that reality that's when it truly looks good. Of course she would be confused about that. Hmm. Oh, we have an imposter. Or is Nibidani actually not the real one? She just seemed to confirm herself as it. It, yeah, it's pretty, pretty close to the one that uh, Nibidani wore. Do Nibitani and this other one look that similar that they can so easily switch considering Maury Summer has been uh, pictured before, hasn't she? Yeah, it's a bit creepy.
So there's going to be a confrontation between the two Mori Summers. I hope that's not a huge dose of hypocrisy there. Why is she so attached to Dikamori? She couldn't stand it anymore. <laughs> Bye, take away. She's got to stick to the story, though, doesn't she? Is there a way to confirm who is the the one committing identity theft? Because she's embarrassed of her past. Simple. Yeah, who who does she? Why does she feel obligated to? Well, I guess prove her own name and show that one as being a a fraud. But You see, it's good to... That was bad, Cumin. Um, it's good to have these kind of beliefs, kind of, but... Well, it actually does kind of matter. But it's also kind of stupid to think about. Closing that distance. And it's not him being assertive for once. So, their relationship and what they've managed to obtain has now taken a backseat to this. The fact that uh, if this is a fake Mori Summer and she's using it to get close to Dekamori, it's multiple ways bad. And one of them could be leading to more problematic behaviour when she's older. Showing a bit of humility. Hm. She doesn't have to pretend anymore. She's actually letting it go. Maybe.
there was definitely something troubling going on. Is Decamoy actually uh, upset about about the events with Nibutani? She didn't seem that that happy about being able to talk to the real Morisama. She's given up, she's just not bothering to fight. I think this is actually one of the better ways of doing it. The more you fight and uh It's like when uh your parents give you orders and whatnot. The more insistent it is saying you you're, you can't do this ever, it's more likely that you're probably going to go around and see what the whole big deal is. Yeah, the, so the more that Nibitani would uh, fight against Dekamori there, the more hardened Dekamori's disbelief in her would be. Well, oh, that would be a uh, an all right conclusion. It, the the camera was weird. His face looks weird there. And that's part of the reason why she's upset that she's not fighting for it. Well, Dekamori is smart. She's like top of the year, isn't she? So. Okay, this might be something you have to intervene with. Usually, challenging someone to a fight and whatnot isn't the right way to go, but I know that they're doing it in in the magic realm or whatever it is, so... <laughs> Send in the attack dogs. <laughs> it's, um, you gotta play along for that to work, though, that's the issue. I was I was wondering where she's going with this. It was must be annoying to have to introduce your name like that each and every time. That's why I'm glad I've got a relatively shortish name.
without all the uh, you know double triple barrels that some of the you know pompous people have in old style Britain. I wouldn't advise drilling holes in trees unless you know what you're doing at least because it can lead to just killing the tree. She's getting quite good at rolling back and forth, isn't she? Had quite a lot of practice. And if she's backing away like that in in which way danger okay now this might be a have be a call for uh Anyone to intervene. <sighs> so even in this kind of situation, you felt it necessary to take a pose on top of the slide. Nothing like the element of... You know, time. <clears throat> Once again, Tony works if she's willing to play along, but if she's there to to um, enrapture and prove to Decamora and she's going to have to, so... Hmm. The uh, animation budget definitely goes up during scenes like this. Well, not the budget, but the quality at least. See, it's in in these little moments is where they can actually uh, give that explanation. Where they wouldn't have the uh, courage, maybe, to say it in any other setting. If she was going to give up that easily. You have studied the... Yeah, that just... It's great that the uh, Mori Summer is using dark magic kind of thing. I still want to see what this looks like in reality what they are doing to each other kind of thing. Was that just a slap?
<laughs> yeah, she's so enamored with us, she's not going to listen to the uh, quite evident truths, but the fact that she has these things to say about Dekamori, no, she, that she's at least has taken time to know her. What a way of going around it, okay. And because she was so... pushy in getting what she wanted... She pushed away the one that she actually, uh... Yeah, she actually strived to obtain for all of the lies. Yeah, but I don't think you need to go t to these kind of extremes. Well, yep. Technically, wasn't with a man, but. <laughs> Her, um. Her, um, I can't think of the word, but the the reasons that she wanted Dekamori there seemed a bit odd. Because she was pure, that's why you liked her? Okay. It's quite good that no one accidentally uh, gave too much information away there, because that probably did sever all ties, which is, I think, for the best. Although someone that that l level of um, Maybe even cognitive dissonance where she didn't realise she's hurting Dekamori would need uh, observation to see what happens in the future. At least they kept their uh, band together so the uh, music video thing still works. We've seen it happen time and time again, haven't we? Um, people who start off with this back and forth and almost hatred for each other actually then grow and it leads to some rather quite close friendships if not more i don't know if it's going to lean that way in this story and now that this episode's over i'm once again back to the drawing board of what i think is actually going to happen for the other episodes because we've taken we've gotten rid of the issues surrounding how the barrier between Rika and Yuta, and we've now settled the the issue with the real fake Mori Summer. So only time will tell as to what the future holds. Maybe there's some heartbreak, maybe there's some jubilation. If you want to make sure you don't miss it, you might want to subscribe to the channel, and why, why not leave a comment down below and like the video. I mean, you're still here, aren't you? And yeah, as I was trying to put during the actual episode, Dekamori was just lashing out and uh, obstinately pushing this 
fake Maury Summer um, to get a reaction from Nibitani, wasn't she, in the end? But still, hopefully you're all doing quite well out there. And if you are, the best way to stay that way is to get some rest. So that I can definitely see you in the next one. I want to thank each and every one of you for at least caring enough to reach this point in the video. Of course my channel is kept alive by your engagement and also by my Patreons. So why not give them all a big dose of appreciation, but a bit more for Florida Taku, Sal, Raywin, Denimet1997 and Luis Ormanza. And so guys, until the next one, thank you.